Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the workshop. If you're a subscriber, you probably saw a video about a month or so ago where I made this. This is a cigar box diddly bow, and I did a video on how to make one with minimal tools. That's actually the instrument I'm gonna to use today, and I'm going to add a pickup and a jack to it so I can plug it into an amp. Today, I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to electrify a cigar box instrument. This will work on three string, four string, one string, two string, doesn't matter, same principles. But here's the thing, it'll also work on a bunch of other instruments. We'll talk more about that at the end. First of all, let's talk about what you're gonna need. So in addition to your cigar box guitar, you're only gonna need two actual components. A quarter inch mono jack, here is one here, just your basic mono jack, and a piezo disc pickup. Now you can see here, I have several different sizes and some of them are smaller, larger, etc. Any of these will work. The size is not truly important. And so for today, I'm gonna use this size right here, sort of the middle size. Um, again, these all have leads on, already pre-soldered on them as you can see, but you know, you can get them without leads too and solder them yourself, still work perfectly fine. Now, one quick thing to note, you can actually buy the piezo disc with the jacks pre-soldered. I'm not a huge fan of those because they tend to give you way more wire than you need, and I don't like all that extra wire in there, so I end up clipping it off and re-soldering it anyway. Um, but if you do have a pre-wired lead, then you won't need a soldering iron. If you don't, then you will need a soldering iron just to solder that piezo to the jack. The only other tool that we're going to need is a drill and of course some drill bits. We'll have to drill a hole to mount that jack and we're also going to need a hot glue gun but that's it. Very quick easy project. So the very first thing you want to do is mark your bridge location. So you can see here I did just a little mark on both sides with a sharpie there and that's going to tell me uh, how to put this, you know, when I get it back together, where exactly to position the bolt. In addition, it'll help us uh, position the pickup once we have that apart. So that's your first step. After that, just go ahead and loosen your string. Okay, then we can get the string out of the way there. And then we can set the bolt to the side. And let's go ahead and take these two little screws out. And voila, we now have access to mount our piezo jack and pickup. So the next thing we wanna do is look at our jack here. And let me take the bolt and the nut, or the bolt and the washer off here. Excuse me, the nut and the washer. I'll get it right eventually. Take those off. And you wanna look at the length of the actual threaded part of the shaft. And you want to then think about where do you wanna mount your jack? So I'm thinking I wanna mount the jack over here. So it's on this end. So I have to look and make sure that that is thick enough to get through there. And in this case, it is. Okay, so now let's go ahead and solder the jack and the piezo together. So I'm gonna clip my jack here in my uh, soldering clamp. And then I want the positive side to go to the sleeve contact there. So I'm just gonna fold that over. Okay. And then we'll repeat that for the tip or the negative side. Okay, so here we have our cigar box guitar ready to go and here we have our piezo and jack. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that this fits in the hole that we drilled over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the jack there and it does go in quite nicely and you can see it sticks out enough that we can easily get a nut on there. So I think we're good to go with that. Now, if we go ahead and shut this again, remember this is where our bridge sits because we marked those spots. So what you wanna do is pick the one that's on the same side as your jack. So if you drilled your jack hole up here, you'd wanna mount your piezo here. If you drilled your jack hole down here like we did, you'd wanna mount your piezo here. So what that means is when you open it, now that's like out here. Let me go ahead and just put a little bit of glue there. Make sure our glue's flowing nice, there we go. All right, don't let it dry and just get it right in there. Now keep in mind that is going to be hot, so be careful. Whew, that is hot. There we go, and just kind of push that into the hot glue and get it you know, down fairly close to the actual lid, as, as close as you can to the lid. And be careful, don't get too sloppy on your glue, because remember, it does have to still close and clear this. So let me show you how that is done. We're just gonna take our hot glue gun here and we're gonna put a little glue right in there. Okay, that's looking like it's pretty dry. So let's go ahead and shut this and try to close it up. Now this might be 
the most difficult part of the whole process. Because what you want to do here is you want to shut the lid, but you want to leave enough space that you can get your hand in here and get the jack through the hole that you drilled. All right. So there's our jack. It's through. Let's make sure our lid shuts all the way. It does. Awesome. Okay, so the last thing I need to do here is get the nut onto the jack. So you can see I put the washer on there. Go ahead and put the nut on there. And you can see I'm reaching through the open box here to make sure I can hold on to the uh, to the jack on the inside to ensure it doesn't turn. I get it finger tight here. Then I can easily take a wrench and get it the rest of the way. The point is I want to make sure that jack doesn't turn on the inside and put strain on those wires. So real quick, I'm just going to grab a needle nose here and give that a good twist. Let's go ahead, screw this down. Finally, let's do, let's put the string back on. Okay, there we have it. We now have an electric diddly bow. It looks pretty much exactly like it did before. The acoustic tone is still more or less the same. The only difference is now we see this inconspicuous jack over here. Well, last thing we need to do is take it in and plug it into an amp and make sure that it works. Okay, back in the studio with the recently modified diddly bow and uh, got her plugged into an amp right here. The amp is not powered on yet because I just wanted to show you first. Still works just as it did before. So let's go ahead and turn the amp on. Remember the whole goal of this is to get it louder. And uh, let's see here, let's see what happens. Oh, definitely louder. So it definitely works, but now that we have an amp, we can do other tones here. So let's see if we can add a little overdrive. Remember back at the beginning of the video, I said that you could use this method not just to amplify a cigar box guitar, but to amplify all kinds of different things. Well, that's actually the exact method that I used in the Devil's Uke. There's just a piezo inside here, jack right here. And that's also the exact same method I used when I made this monochord that you guys have seen on my channel. There's just two piezos in here and two jacks, but it's still the exact same basic idea. And that's what I used in this harp. There's a jack, and then inside here, there's a piezo glued to the soundboard. So same exact thing that we just did on that guitar. And it's also what I did when I made this lyre here and I made it electric. So you can see this one, I also added a uh, volume pot, but still, there's a jack, and then right inside here, there's a piezo glued to the soundboard. So lots and lots and lots of different things can be done with this simple method. So now that you've got the idea, you can do this on a lot of things. There you go. If you like what I do on this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.